Welcome guys. In the previous video, we solved the first part of the question. Today, we will be tackling the second part. Find the equation of the plane containing the line L and the point A and give your answer in the Cartesian form. Let's suppose that this is the plane containing point A and the line L. Let's say that the red line, the dotted red line, represents the plane of the plane. So, if we take a line N, which is perpendicular to the red line, the line is going to be perpendicular to the whole plane. And since the line L lies on the plane, the line N is also going to be perpendicular to L. Well, okay, so N is the normal to the plane. But why are we interested in that? That's because we can use the value of N to find the equation of the plane. The formula is given on your screen where R is X, Y, Z. N is the normal to the plane. A is the position vector of any point on the plane. And yeah, that's it. So, okay, uh, the question has given us the vector equation of line L. You should recall that a vector equation is in the form R equals position vector of a point on the line plus a constant times the direction of the line. From this, it is clear that the point 1, 1, 2 lies on the line. Uh, we are going to represent it by the letter D. Well, the letter the point D lies on the line L and since the line lies on the plane the point D lies on the plane a vector is the position vector of any point on the line so since D lies on the plane we can use the position vector of D as a so a vector equals 1 1 2 you can also use the position vector of the point a since a also lies on the plane but I will be using the position vector of D now let's move on okay to find the normal to the plane n we need two vectors lying on the plane which are not parallel to each other one is the direction of the line L and the other one is the direction of a D so let's find the direction of a D vector which is OD minus OA. Uh, let's substitute in our values and we get minus 1, 2, minus 1. Let's find N now. The formula is N equals the vector representing the direction of L cross the vector representing the direction of AD. Cross because we are talking about the cross product of two vectors, not the dot product. Let's substitute in our values. L is 3, 1, minus 1 is given in the question and AD we just found out. Now the formula for cross product is given here. The, vec the vector LMN cross the vector PQR gives MR minus NQ, NP minus LR and LQ minus MP. Pause the screen for some time and use this formula to find the value of N. Come back when you're done and see if your uh, results are correct or not. Okay, I hope you had a go. So using the formula we get this and simplifying this we get that n vector equals 1, 4, 7. Alright, now let's substitute these values in the equation of the plane. So r dot n equals a dot n, r is x, y, z, n is 1, 4, 7, a is the position vector of a point on the line. Well, 1, 1, 2 lies on the line, so I used the position vector of the point. Now, simple dot product. Using that, we get x plus 4y plus 7z equals 19. So we got the equation of the plane in the Cartesian form. I hope that was helpful. Thank you and see you again.